we're all in this together. We have each other's backs. I was transitioning a traditional business. I had founded a printing and sign company, and we had stumbled upon some opportunities to build software as a service, to build websites for other printing companies was our initial product. And we had opportunities to grow really fast. We went out and raised capital so we could accelerate our growth and raised around $2 million from venture capital firms. And then I loaded up my board of directors with, with experts, those firms. Remember thinking at the time that these people know way more than I do, and I want to learn from them. I want to soak up every ounce of knowledge I can. And what I didn't think about at the time is that it's not advisable to take, say, for example, a five-member board and give three board seats to investors that now control aspects of your business. All I thought about was upside, positivity, everything's going to be great. We started to grow the business, expand really quickly. And then 9-11 happened. The economy just fell apart. It just changed overnight for us. And although we had a lot of money in the bank from the recent fundraise, we all of a sudden just started to show a trend line downward and we were burning cash. Our investor-led board and I got into a major disagreement, let's just say. They wanted me essentially to lay off, let go half of our entire company. Then they called a special meeting and on a three to one vote, they essentially fired me as the CEO of my own company. What happened over the course of a couple of weeks is that my team came together and they came up with this plan for each of them to take a 50% pay cut. And several wow. of them, in addition to that, took paid deferrals. It wasn't money coming out of our bank account. The company would pay them back if and when we could. The people in our company forged this company culture that still exists to this day. We're all in this together. We have each other's backs. We learned what it takes to build a company. It took me a couple of months, but I was able to go and get on my hands and knees and plead and sell. And I got other people to buy out those investors. So we got those people out. I was able to reclaim my seat as CEO. And within a year and a half, we were wildly profitable and everyone had not only been paid back on the deferred compensation, but also on the cut compensation that they had wow. agreed to cut. And that was really the catalyst for what became the culture of our business. They didn't make that decision based on their belief in me. They made that decision based on their belief in we and what all of us had built together. The reality of actually bringing voices to the table and hearing and seeing and acknowledging other people in the equation. In fact, they had all been given equity in the business. It was a really important part of building it. And they all had a stake in the company and they felt ownership along with me.